The skill I'm going to talk about is um, basically how to do what is not taxidermy, but look, it's sort of cheating. In other words, not building a frame inside, but how to do uh, a wire mount, which is basically a decoy bird that you allow other birds to attack. And to um, and they're used with calls. Uh, Steph? Um, so Steph's actually, do you want to talk while Stella gets ready? Sure. Um, I did uh, a study last summer with a PhD student here at UBC on swings and thrushes. And we use decoys. And they're actually very helpful with territorial birds when you're trying to target specific birds. So what we would do if uh, Stella gets out one of the decoys is we'd set up our mist net and a speaker. And then uh, just a bit above the speaker, we would have our decoy. And we would usually, because they have a wire coming out the bottom of the decoy, We'd wrap it around a tree and tie a fishing line to the branch that the decoy is on and go back about 20 or so meters. Turn on the playback and kind of just wiggle the decoy <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and it really helps because sometimes, especially if you're around, your mist net bird doesn't want to approach or it's timid, but if you have a very territorial bird like a thrush, they get pretty pissed off and will try to attack the decoy. Um, and it was very effective in the study that uh, has been already skinned out, so all the body has already been taken out of it. And uh, it's got most of the skull intact though. If you chop off the entire back of the skull, it's harder to get wires to stick into it. And likewise, it's nice to leave the primaries attached to the bone because it gives you a little bit more structure to work with. And a few different types of wire for a bird this size. And basically, it's you stick the wire into the base of the skull and you wedge it in there. And you kind of pull the body of the bird down over your wire and it kind of gets stuck in the head a little bit. This is one that's already had that bit done to it. And you're trying, you're trying to create basically the body of the bird made out of wire. So think of the wires like the backbone coming down the back and there's smaller wires you can stick in to kind of feed down the wings. So they've got a little bit of structure to them as well and then down into the legs, so the legs aren't just hanging down below. And as she was saying, you want to leave that wire coming out of the bottom, so you have something to wrap around the branch or anything like that. So this is one that is almost done, and you can see it kind of looks like a hermit thrush now, hopefully. And that's basically what you're trying to get, is something that looks like a bird, you can still, uh, it hasn't been dried yet, so it's still bendable, so you could tilt it down, you could tilt it up, you could open up its beak and then have something in there as it's drying, so you've got its beak open like it's singing, you can tilt their heads, you could have one displaying with its wings up to show the inside of the wings, or anything like that. And uh, kind of interesting pinning methods, so you're trying to pin it so it'll dry in a more lifelike position or tie the wings together so it'll dry with its wings up. And then, uh, yeah, then you've got a wire decoy bird that you could use in studies like the one described. Thank you. Are there any methods you can use to keep the skin viable, like to reposition it, or is it easy to seal it? Kind of like if you're a taxidermy mechanic. I've seen people just take a skin like this, tie it up to a tree, and use it in a freezer. If you just keep this in the freezer when you want to use it again, you pull it out and you just hang it up. <laughs>